Kia ora everyone, welcome to the Ice House podcast. My name is Priya and I am the Junior Marketing Specialist at the Ice House. I'm very excited to be chatting with co-working residents Jess and Summer today, who are part of the team at Frank Accounting. Frank Accounting are commercially focused and personable accountants supporting business owners to achieve their financial goals. They support business owners on their journey, empowering them to articulate and achieve their goals, positively impacting their lives, their teams, their customers and the wider community. So thank you for joining me today, guys, and welcome to the podcast. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> awesome to be here. Um, you guys would know, because you listen to the podcast, that we kick things off with um, some quick fire questions. So um, start with you, Jess, and then Summer, you can follow with your answer. But yep. the first question is, what was your first job? Oh, gosh. My first job, I was a waitress. Really? Uh, yeah. Where? <laughs> I was a waitress at this Malaysian restaurant that just opened up. But at the time, it just opened up. It's called Papa Ridge. Oh, yeah, I know um, Papa Ridge. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know this. And, no, but it's, I got the job from one of my high school friends. So me and, like, our group of four high school friends all worked there over the summer. It was actually that so actually much fun. Like so yeah, that sounds fun. fun. No, and then we saved all the money we earned and went to Japan. So. Oh, okay. So it was okay. okay. That's it was cool. Perfect. That's very, quite very cool. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. What about you, Summer? Um, mine was kind of similar. It was catering in high school. Really? So I was like, I need some money. You know, your parents are like, I'm not giving you any pocket money. Oh, so no. I was like, um, I need to get a job. Did catering. I think I worked five shifts. I hated it. I had to work the boxing one night, got beer spilled all down oh me, and I was like, you know what? I don't think this is for me. Yeah. I was 15, 16, <laughs> working 12 hour shifts, coming home with the sorest feet. That's yeah. pretty hard. That's yeah, tough. It was that's hard tough. Poor. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh wow, that's cool. Um, okay, Jess, summer or winter? Oh, I actually don't know if it's a question. Because here's the thing I don't like, I don't like feeling cold but also I get sunburned oh, okay. quite, quite easily <laughs> so maybe I would say I'll say winter because okay. it's cozier okay okay what about you summer ah uh, obviously summer. <laughs> summer like summer oh, oh summer yeah like no worries <laughs> at the beach so yeah. summer is ideal mm, perfect yeah. yeah nice um Jess, if you were to write a book, what would it be about? I was really excited to ask you this. Oh, really? Because I feel like, you know, like just you'd be a good answer. author. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Um, okay, okay. Because, okay, because I was just talking about this, I think, last week with Ivana, and I was saying how I love anything that's like a modern Shakespearean adaptation. Yeah. So, like, I loved like the Northman the movie which was like a Nordic retelling of Hamlet so I'd probably try and redo like a Shakespearean maybe like yeah maybe like a cool a cool adaptation of Macbeth or something cool that's quite cool that's very cool what about you Summer um, so <laughs> Not as much of a book reader as Jess, and nowhere near as exciting. Um, I would probably, I'm more of a visual person, mm. so it would probably be more of a visual book, and nice. I love fashion, so I'd probably do cool. like some sort of fashion edit. That's pretty oh, cool, yeah. actually. That's Seeing so cool. A, like just a collection of photos is actually quite exciting. Yeah, so, like, from the yeah. Mum used yeah. to have so many Vogue books oh, growing really? up and Audrey Hepburn books, <gasps> so and I loved them, so mm. probably something like that, maybe even more of. A book that's more like a art piece that you have yeah, on your like a coffee table yeah book. yeah oh, yeah it'd be book. quite cool oh, so cool. nice um okay what's one country you would love to visit and why jess oh no <laughs> <laughs> um i'll give a boring answer i'll say i'll say i want to go country right mm -hmm. okay can I just say London <laughs> it's technically not a country okay though. yeah that's fine but that's I, I want to go there just because one of my really good friends is moving over there um early next year mm -hmm. so I want to go over there and leech say hi <laughs> say hi <laughs> yeah that's not boring that's cool that's yeah. cool um yeah. what about you Summer 
So if I could go anywhere, assuming I had no budget, I have always wanted to go do like a bougie weekend in the Maldives. Yeah. You know, with oh, all the rich yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be That's ideal. Nice. But um, maybe Mexico as well. We're planning cool. a girls trip currently to Mexico. Exciting. So I would say that kind of mm-hmm. hot. Realm. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, Jess, what's your favorite self care activity? Um. Do you know what? <laughs> oh, it sounds silly. <laughs> but I actually I actually love doing this. So me and my friends have this like joke now where we just go out and get a bevy. <laughs> that's so cute. Cute. Fun. That's cute. A cute that's little self-care. beverage where whether it's like a coffee or yeah. like a juice or a smoothie. Oh. Just go out and have a bevy. <laughs> <laughs> that's self-care. That's self-care. It counts. Yeah, it totally counts as self-care. It's that not is. self-care for the wallet. But, but hey, for me. it's for the soul. Yeah, it's for the soul. Yeah. What yes. about you, Summer? Um, I would say I'm probably more of a slow cook myself a nice dinner, mm. put on a face mask, yeah. bath, maybe go for a drive. I love going for drives. Yeah. When I feel stressed out, mm. I'd say I just take myself for a nice drive on the waterfront and it always makes me feel so much better. Oh, yeah. So that kind of nice. that situation, yeah. I'd say. That's cool. That's I cool. like that. Oh, cool. Thank you, guys. Um, we can move on to our podcast questions now and just want to start off by asking, um, who are Jess and Summer? What are your interests and passions? So, Jess, do you want to kick us off? Um, yeah, yeah. So, I started out with Frank late 2020 as an intern, um, part-time, and I'm sort, sort of doing what Summer's current role is, but not as fleshed out. Um and then I was offered a full-time position with them and really enjoyed what they did as a business for our clients. So I wanted to learn accounting and become a sort of account manager with Frank. Um, I didn't study accounting in university, so it's a bit of a change in direction for me, but very well supported by everyone. So it's exciting. Um, my interests and passions outside of work, I like a bit of reading here and there um and I tend to go to movies quite often and I'm trying to learn how to run properly cool. that's well. exciting I can run for like 20 minutes that now. is impressive Whoa. I can't even that do is two. really impressive I, not, that is very not impressive. fast and not far but continuously hey, that's impressive I run yeah. to the end of my driveway and I'm like no oh, that's it yeah. I'll just walk the rest of the way <laughs> running is hard it's, it's not easy it is it's, not. there's a, that's a skill really. <laughs> good on you Jess yeah. good on you Jess hey. what about you Summer um I a little bit about myself I started at Frank this year and I was studying down at Victoria in mm-hmm. Wellington doing marketing and management um and then after that I did a couple years with Overland and I was their assistant manager at a few of their stores and also worked for their head office doing customer experience coordination um and then outside of sort of my work life my interests are definitely three very simple ones food (laughs) dogs and clothes no that's good I like it I like it no, simple that's cool. Versions. Yeah, no. simple yeah. pleasures. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I know you've like lightly touched on this, Jess, um, and Summer too. But um, tell us more about what you guys do at Frank. What are your job titles, and maybe what a day in you know your life looks like at work. Yeah, yeah. So um, I guess mine's a bit weird because I'm a little bit of everything mm-hmm. these days. Um, I predominantly have an internal systems focus. Um, particularly on one of our workflow systems, which is called Carbon. Um, I also do the internal bookkeeping and accounts for Frank. And I have a small portfolio of clients, very (laughs) small, um, that I do manage sometimes. And um, these days I'm predominantly working with the directors on executing some bigger projects more directly relating to Frank and how we're going to continue working in the future. Um, day in my life would probably look like lots of frank related projects um, meetings with the directors and day-to-day accounting 
Um, I like a good matcha. <laughs> um, also collaborating a lot with the rest of the team. Cool. Yeah. Very exciting heaps going on. What yeah. about you? So my title is Client Experience Manager, but it definitely varies a lot. It's mainly client facing, meeting clients, booking in meetings, helping the directors, supporting them. And very excitingly as well, team events, team morale, all of that stuff. Um, and then my day to day for me is probably playing with Lionel, who is yeah. the chief yeah. morale officer at the Ice House. Yes, he, he is. is my favorite person. <laughs> um, and probably doing a thousand steps because I'm always running between meeting rooms yeah. trying to make sure everything's set up, everyone's going okay. And yeah, the exciting thing about my role is no two days are ever the same. So I'm always doing different stuff, which is so exciting. I'm definitely never bored. Yeah, that's awesome. And you definitely are running around because I'll, I'll be at my desk, you know, like like just being lazy, sitting there all day. And you are like back in the board. I know, saying yeah. hello to all your clients. And actually, like you really look after them well. You're like so good. I always hear you, oh, would you like a coffee? Are you oh, sure? Yeah. So yeah. nailing it, Summer. Nailing <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you guys, how does Frank use the space and what are the benefits, benefits of using the space as a team and for Frank? Sort of obvious answer is for the people. It's a really nice environment to work in because there's just so many different people mm-hmm. that you get to meet and hang out with. Um, I think the best part personally is that if everyone is working from home, it's so nice you're never lonely you kind of feel like you can make lots of new friends yeah. and there's always free food around <laughs> there's a lolly jar which is my favorite thing my, not my waistline's favorite thing but it's definitely my personal favorite i'm always caught with my hand deep and yeah. i'm trying to get all yeah. the tim tams or oh bars. yes <laughs> oh, oh yeah i do like the tim tams i do like the lolly jar i yeah. need to probably yeah. restrict myself um, but as a business, it's also a great place for us to connect with the people in the Ice House and mm. different businesses to get new client referrals as well and just network. So it's yeah. it's a really nice space to be in. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, I've noticed that you guys have a lot of your clients actually come in and you actually chat to them face to face. Yes. So, yeah. um, I guess having the meeting rooms, does that help you guys? A hundred percent. They are so handy and it's quite nice. I'll always try to book different ones for each client so they get to experience something different every time. They're not always used to the same. So I think having different meeting rooms, particularly because our team is growing Mm. so fast, is a really nice benefit. Cool. That's awesome. Um, This is a question for both of you guys, but what are your thoughts on co-working spaces in general? Jess, do you want to start off? Yeah, sure. Um, I think in general, co-working spaces just allow for businesses to have a lot more flexibility Mm -hmm. in the way that they operate and you know it's easier to have someone like I guess the ice house which is a co-working space taking care of any like everything Mm -hmm. quite administrative that the tenants would otherwise have to take care of if they had their own private office um so it saves a lot of a lot of thought around that um especially for us around covid we didn't have to take care of all the QR codes mm-hmm. and following the like legislation yeah, totally changes good. and everything. Um, I think it's like a really good place to allow for a lot of mm-hmm. innovation and creativity as well. Cool. Yeah, totally. Yeah. What about you, Sam? Yeah, definitely on the back of Jess, just it's so lively and nice. There's always people around. Mm. It's definitely a nice space to be and I prefer co-working environments. You just get to meet so many different people and hear about what they're doing and their businesses so it's mm. definitely always interesting and sparks a lot of ideas yeah no nah, awesome I agree with you um you guys have already kind of touched on this but um what do you guys love most about the space and what are your favorite elements um my favorite element is probably the phone booth surprisingly oh, yeah, I, I think those are really cool booth. I think they're an underrated element it of the co so nice. space like yes you have the glamorous <laughs> meeting rooms you have the coffee machine yeah. and the lolly jar but yeah. the phone booth is just it is very cool it's so good yeah. you can because it's not always the case that you'll have a scheduled call mm-hmm. but if you do have one that's important and 
you, you need to step out of the office for it, but you don't want to be necessarily disrupting other people. The phone booth is just so good. It's cozy, it's soundproof, it's got an air con. <laughs> it does, it does, it yeah. does. So, and if people don't know what a phone booth is, <laughs> I don't know, but um, it's basically like, what, what, how would you describe it? it? Yeah, so, like, a, like a box. It's, it's like a cool weird modern Bo- box, box. It's kind and of carpeted, yeah like it's really yeah. Carpeted. yeah and you can yeah. sit inside there's like a, a stool. charger there's a little mini i don't know like a mini a desk desk mini yeah. desk i think you can even plug stuff in, in you there. can you can definitely yeah. charge in there yeah from experience yeah. Yeah. and there's a light which you can actually um <laughs> make on. brighter yes as well and yes. it can be dim so yeah. it was quite cool yeah quite yeah. Like that. good answer mm. <laughs> what about you summer <laughs> mine would definitely be i remember the first time i visited it's definitely the fact that it kind of feels like a New York City loft. Yeah. yeah kind cool. of feel like I'm working yeah. in a different city. So location mm. is probably my favorite thing as well. Yeah. Being in Parnell, I never really spend time around this area. Yeah. So it's actually so nice getting it to is. know a different part of the city. Mm. That is so cool. Like there's Barulo nearby. Oh, yeah. Simon and <laughs> Lee, Red Rabbit. Yeah. It's such a nice area that I honestly just never spent time in before working here. And now yeah. I love it. So, yeah. yeah, I'd say location is cool. massive as well. I like that. Nice. Um, who is one interesting person you have met from this space and why were they interesting? Jess? Oh, this one's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Um, I think, okay, so I think it would be Gareth. Gareth? He's so interesting <laughs> to me because purely, okay, well, the, a lot of the Ice House people I feel very interested yeah. in, especially their different backgrounds yeah. and where they've come from but just Gareth is so he's such a lively person he is very lively and he just recently helped us with filming some content for our new website and oh, new video because I'm sure you know this prayer but he's done some <laughs> extensive oh, acting yes I know he um, doesn't let us forget yeah. <laughs> oh I will never forget and I'm I'm a little bit obsessed with his ANZ ad. I have seen that one. It's a good one. Yeah, I've showed Summer it. Like, I've just been... Oh, it's great. And I think he's just a very, like, reliable presence in the office as well. Yeah. So, very cool. Oh, he's going to love that. Shout out to Gareth Bailey. Shout out to Gareth. Sales manager at the Ice House. Hey, Gareth. (laughs) Um, Summer, what about you? I found this one so hard because everyone is so interesting. I agree, has such good passions mm-hmm. but I'd say Aaron from Urban Solutions yeah. he is the nicest person I have he ever met nice. I think every person in this co-working space probably knows him yeah and oh, yeah. yeah I think he's just the friendliest person it's people like that you meet and you know you're probably going to be friends for a really long mm-hmm. time so yeah. I would say Aaron he knows everyone he knows oh, everyone and yes. he makes you feel like his best friend I, I feel know. like he's so good at just I including know. everyone oh, yeah yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, he definitely inspires me to want to talk to more people. I'm oh, like, this yeah. guy is so confident. <laughs> yeah. How do I do this? I know, yeah. I've been being so nervous in my first few weeks, and he just yeah. kept being like, hi, Summer, how are you? <laughs> hi, Summer, how are you? And I was like, oh, damn. How did we like him? <laughs> he's nice. Yeah, no, nah, he's good. Um, it is <laughs> quite funny. When I first started at Frank, I, had, I kept seeing him around, and I, I hadn't quite said hi yet. And we were in the bathroom, coming out of the bathroom. So the bathrooms are unisex. <laughs> and we're coming out at the bathroom. And I'd never met him before. And we got to talking. And basically, he reached out his arm to hold the door open for me. And I'd never met this guy. And it was COVID times. And my first instinct was, oh, he wants me to hug him. <laughs> so I went into this hug quickly. And then he's like, oh, no, no, I'm just holding open the door. And then out of just pure embarrassment... The whole way back to our offices, I just kept doing huge gestures to make it look like that's just what I did and that I wasn't trying to hug him awkwardly in the bathroom for the first time. So, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's a bit of backstory. That's a good first impression. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very embarrassing. Well, knowing him, he would have just been really nice about it. He was so nice about it. If it could have happened with anyone, it would be better that I had with him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good person to have that moment with. Um, mm. I know recently you guys started four day work weeks because I was like every Friday when I looked over at Frank, <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, We're not "Where there. is the team? Why are the lights off? Yeah. They on holiday?" And then we found out you guys had started um 
four day work week. So yeah. I would love to learn more about how that all came to be, um, how you guys are embracing it and, you know, just your thoughts and feelings about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we started looking into it pre COVID, but we weren't really able to get things off the ground because of the impact of COVID and how it just forced us to sort of change the way we work already. Um, but coming out on the other side of it now, we've tried to implement and we signed up to the four day work week mm -hmm. pilot in, on 1st of August this year, mm -hmm. just after an offsite. Um, so we did an offsite up in Mangathai. Mangathai, <laughs> yeah, in July. Best offsite ever. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was actually so nice. Um, and it was announced to us by the directors. So we got together as a team without them. So they went on a little stroll um, and we were given the opportunity to discuss and formulate a plan as a team without sort of their direction. That's so really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so very team led. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of the whole philosophy around the four day work week yeah. is that it doesn't work unless it is quite yeah. driven from the team. Mm -hmm. um, and it's meant to give you like higher gains in productivity and employee retention, but just general team morale. And I feel like that's definitely the case mm. with how it's been going with Frank. I feel like we now very much value the time we spend together as a team yes, so awesome. much. Yeah. Yeah. Social yeah. time together is definitely yeah. valued really highly. That's awesome. Yeah, and like I think we really make an active effort to make sure that the four day work week doesn't necessarily take away from our social culture as well, yes, cool. um, while still working towards trying to improve the efficiency and how we work. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's going well. Mm -hmm. I think we've got a few productivity initiatives on the go at the moment, um, featuring very, very quiet mornings that were slightly alarming to our neighbours when we first started doing it. Focus time? Yeah. yeah. Focus time. Focus time, flow yeah. time. Yeah. A um, lot less meetings mm -hmm. and more structure or time bound around cool. meetings. Yeah. And I think everyone's making a huge effort to make sure they're not late to things and also being very diligent around mm -hmm. timesheets so that awesome. we can get a full picture of our work day. So... I think it's good. We've got a Teams channel where we can all mm -hmm. show off all the fun things we're cool. doing on Friday yeah. as well. That's awesome. I cannot. I think after starting the four-day work yeah. week, I cannot go back to working yeah. a five-day <laughs> one. Yeah. My body is like, yes, this yeah. is the best thing ever. Yeah. Awesome. It's so nice. Like You can go and do your appointments because mm -hmm. you can never get appointments on the weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. So it's nice instead mm -hmm. of having to take leave. You can just. It's like a life admin day. Awesome. We call it my day. So it's nice. Like my day to do everything I, really like I that. need to yeah, do. Yeah, my day. Cool. Um, so tell us what excites you about the future, Frank. I would say how fast we're growing. It's mm -hmm. very exciting because it's definitely allowing a lot more opportunity for us to specialize in areas that we enjoy. I would say because I'm fresh out of uni, mm -hmm. I'm definitely still finding my feet in what I particularly like to do, and because my role is so broad. It's been so exciting getting to trial every different sort of role. And now, hopefully, with us growing, I can narrow a bit more, which is really exciting. Cool. Awesome. What about you, Jess? Um, I'm, I'm always, I always like the thing about Frank being quite tech savvy. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm pretty excited to see what new tech or what sort of innovative mm -hmm. ideas like the four-day work week we could end up incorporating into the business to sort of support how fast we are growing. Awesome. That's so cool. Um, and I'm actually really excited to see what the future brings for you guys because you are a very cool and unique company. <laughs> and I get to see that being your neighbour out know, there. I right know. Outside our door, you probably hear everything. I'm always like, oh, what are they oh, doing there's now? There's something exciting. Oh, like, works. what are they taking <laughs> to their clients? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Got free food, isn't there? There's pizza. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys are definitely very cool. And, um, it's awesome to see you guys, you know, paving the way with the flexible working arrangements. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed our conversation. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking time to be here. I know you guys are very busy and um, sharing more about Frank and what you guys do and what's going on in your world. So um, thank you for joining me. Thank Thanks you so for much. Having it was us. Fun. <laughs> yeah.